cast out of Valhalla, Argent pontificates from his transdimensional playpen on his unending journey to snark at all things from inside an Omega Geyser. Hello everybody, I was just finishing off my latest comic, Pedro the LSD ridden rooster. And I'm really going to need you guys to buy this one because I have an electric bill payment coming up. And if I don't have electricity, I, I can't play the Vectrex. And a day without the Vectrex is like a day without awesome. And if you have a day without awesome, then it's, it's like having an Atari 2600 in the 1980s with a broken controller. So... I'm just working on this, so I need you guys to to purchase this as soon as it comes on Amazon. Um, so I was just finishing off this, this piece of work that was totally mine, and I just figured I'd share with you one of the tools a professional manga artist uses. So this is the Sharpie Gel Highlighter. So there are a lot of people who say you should be using like professional grade pencil crayons or markers or that kind of thing. But those are not rad. They are not super duper rad. So I've decided to use this instead. And but due to my failed series, Argent Sigma Gamma over at Vidme, I, I didn't make enough money off of that. And my Patreon's only four thousand dollars a month. And that's just not enough to, to afford like a $50 set of, of markers. So I picked this one up at a dollar. It's made with the best of Japanese engineering things by a company that was a former samurai. Which reminds me to purchase the next con that my existing comic. Elizabeth the Mutant Kunoichi. So we have Elizabeth the... the the Mutant Kunoichi, we have Pedro the LSD Ridden Rooster, and of course we have my really old one, Argent the Massacre Templar. So, like I said, this is this is the best you can get. So this is cool because it's it's a gel. It's like the stuff I put in my hair. It's 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 the future. It's 2020. It's not just ink anymore, it's a gel. Ooh, look at that. So I've just been using this to um to ink this and as you can see it's 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 amazing. It's the page is coloring. The page is being colored. It's it's incredible. So I would definitely recommend that. I have a a a ultra mega super profitable Amazon affiliate link down in the description of this video. So I need you to click on this and, and purchase 20 of them. Um, you can just directly give me money, which will be more profitable. So this thing is great. This thing is my bread and butter. But I have a test for it. A test to prove if this is the greatest thing in the galaxy. If this is an intergalactic marker that could be used to highlight an Omega Geyser. And the question is, can it play Truxton? So, I have Truxton here for the Sega Genesis. So let's see if it can play this. Seem to be having trouble putting this in. I mean, how can you have something that can't play Truxton? Uh, it just, it's just not working. So I guess it loses a couple points from that. Hopefully the Samurai Warrior Ninja will release a updated version of this that allows you to play Truxton. Because a day without Truxton is like a day without the Vectrex. And it's just the worst. Now, there is another issue that I wanted to talk about with this. And that is, it turns red when you go into the R zone. And... See, it, it turns red. It's, it's, I'm in the R zone. It's, it's the place that you don't want to be in. The marker and all its coloring turn red inside of the R zone. So 
it, it kind of makes sense in this context because that is the the ocean of blood at Antarctica in my original work. But that's definitely something a problem. But then again, everything gets sucked into the R zone. It also works with the Y zone a lot better than it does with the Y the R zone. Because in the R zone, you can still kind of see the the coloring, and it's a much it's a nicer blue color. So it does work with the Y zone, but not the R zone. Because once you go into the R zone, there's no turning back. The other thing is it doesn't work with the GameCom. So let's just turn the GameCom on. GameCom active. So you can't plug it in. It, it won't boot and you won't have to endure a game that is, is truly horrendous like Jurassic Park or Superman.com or IRS.ca. The game where you pull people out of their homes and take your rightful tax dollars. Screw you, government. Thanks a lot, Obama. So, that is the review for today. And I need you guys to purchase this. I need you guys to purchase all my other stuff. Um, I'm also a professional historian. And I need you to purchase my book, Why Truxton is the Best Game Ever Made. Um, also my book, How to Be Extremely Successful at Having an Internet Review Show and never facing financial problems. And finally, you buy my historical book, The Sinking of the Lusitania in Technicolor. So there's that. I have about 50 other historical novels and, and historical picture books. I need you to buy those also. And those will work for my super awesome cell phone payment. So just send me the money, uh, purchase the stuff on Amazon, all the links will be below. So thank you, and i just like to give a big Omega Geyser thanks to those of you who still watch this channel.